Hello YouTube, this is Charlie426 and today we have the review of the Mobility Joint Gundam Volume 5, the Astraea Type F. And it's also its extra equipment pack from the lineup as well. So, uh, this is not my first time reviewing the Mobility Joint Gundam figure series as well. The first one I actually reviewed was the Rezel. So, uh, if you want to know what these are more about, do, do check that video. I will leave a link in the description below. But these are, these are basically small uh, figures with a little bit of joints. And then they come in two packages where one will include the basic joint, uh, uh, the basic inner frame joint, uh, and includes the basic mobile suit. And then the other package, uh, which you need to buy separately, it will include all the other necessary stuff to complete its alternate form, like this Avalanche style package as well. I believe they did release a Masquerade of this as well. I gave my, my uh, Prima Mandai Masquerade to a, a good friend of mine who visited Korea recently. So yeah. So anyway, um, uh, so just want to make sure that if you are into in, into these figures, make sure that if you want to have this form, you need to buy this and this, so both of them, because this box will only include the Astraea Type F, and then the rest of the this box will include the rest of the equipment, which is right here. So here is the back of the box. They sh they should have the same uh, style back of the box on the bottom, while the top one shows like some other description. So this one being the one that actually includes all the basic stuff will show this and then it'll sh it's showing that you need to buy a separate box to complete this form as well so looking at this box here is the bottom section here so i because this part was uh, covered by a sticker i did my best to peel it off cleanly as possible so here is the set so there will be eight boxes in total the first four will be the double o gundam the gnx or jinx and then the um the Gundam Exia and then Astraea Type F. So here, here, once again, if you buy the ones of the top one, you'll be only getting the basic stuff here. And then the other four boxes will include its other equipment, necessary equipment, like the the O riser here parts as well. And then here uh, for the Jinx, while well, this his other alternative box will include his shield, his beam saber, and his longer uh, beam rifle or GN rifle. It will also include like parts for. Um, the Seven Sword uh, Double O Gundam, uh, the Seven Sword uh, variant for um, the Double O Gundam. So you have the massive gigantic sword, you have its beam cannon format and other small parts here. And then for the Exia, pretty much similar to the Astray Type F, you'll get its avalanche uh, equipment as well. So yeah, um, so if you are trying to get this, do make sure that you're, you are not confused. You need to buy, if you want to get the full set, you must buy two of the boxes depending on what you want but if you're once again if you're just satisfied with just a basic one well be my guest all right so uh so just to avoid confusion i'm gonna this is gonna be like an unboxing plus um a review as well so for now i am going to open up this box right away and let's see what we got so because I think uh, my previous re Rezel video, I just showed you guys the complete version and I did kind of show, show the boxes, but just to make sure that everybody understands this product, I'm just gonna open this one right off the bat right away. So I haven't opened this as well. So once you open this thing, you'll see a lot of uh, plates, runners as well. So uh, that is pretty much it, nothing else in the box. Sometimes like depending on the candy toy series, like the inside the box, they will imprint the, they'll print the manuals inside the box, which was a very interesting thing to do, but some of those exist. And let's see what we got. So, uh, here it seems like we have the base um, inner frame here. It seems like they already uh, slapped on the chest, and then the chest piece seems to be colored rather than a clear piece. Here we have, I think that's the head part. Uh, some This is the back skirt and front skirt part, and then we have the hands and the shield. Once again, the shield, uh, just a, a, a plain red. If I remember correctly, there is uh, some color difference here. And then the rest of the plate will have, uh, yeah, it's basic rifle. Although I don't really remember seeing a rifle like this uh, by the Astraea, but oh well. And then some of the body parts, shoulder parts, and then, yeah. And then the sticker sheet. Now, looking at this, the sh sticker sheet is much smaller and much less compared to the Rezo. All right, so I'll be right back once with the basic format, and let's see what we got. Okay, I'm back. So here we have the first box assembled. So here we have the Astraea Type F. So uh, right off the bat, let me just get it off the base. And it was a pretty simple build. Now, you may have noticed when I was opening the box, you may not have seen any instruction manuals. That is because they actually have these QR codes. I'm not sure if you can see. They have these QR codes for the web instructions. So if you... 
uh, if you scan the QR code, they, they, I believe they will download a, your phone will download a PDF file, which will now include all the necessary like instructions. Now, this includes the entire line of volume five. So uh, make sure you scroll down to the ones that you need to and then start assembling. So that's pretty handy. So I guess they were trying to you know, reduce waste or something like that. Because I, know, I do know Japan is slightly sensitive on that uh, issue as, as far as I know. All right, so now let's look at the figure itself. So it's a very small figure, but not as small as a Gundam Converge figure. So here is it next to a Gundam Converge figure. So you can see it's definitely taller than a Gundam Converge figure, although proportion-wise, it may to some people, this may seem a little bit wonky. At least Gundam Converge figures, while they are small, they are actually very, uh, the proportions are very well done. So it really depends on your taste. And other than the mobile suit itself, you get the shield and its beam rifle, once again, uh, I don't remember seeing uh, the Astra using a rifle with a barrel like this, but oh well. And then here we have the sticker sheet. Now the sticker sheet, the only one I use this for the face, the for the camera for the V-fin as well. The rest, so uh, to explain what sticker, stickers these are, this one is for the chin, believe it or not. And despite still being based on a red mold, they still tell you to put a red chin sticker on the top. Uh, and this one is the crotch piece, so you want to put a red stick on the crotch piece, so it's a different tone of red, so um, it, I think it's more of this type of tone of red on the feet here, so that's why, but I didn't apply it. And then these two parts are for the shield, so the, on the side they have to be red, so the darker red, so seems a little bit redundant, so I, just, I decided not to apply them, and if, they, if I did, they're going to look very messy, so yeah. All right, so let's go over articulation really quick and then we can see, we can slap on the weapons and then open the second box to show you guys what's inside. All right, so like I said, let's start for the head. Now, obviously I was hoping that they would go use a clear piece, maybe a dark green or a dark clear piece for the face cover, but no, they just decided to give a single mold and then slap a, uh, a metallic grayish or metallic blackish sticker on the face, but still works. I was kind of tempted to color in metallic green, but once again, um, I, I have seen a few stuff as well, and it's not exactly metallic green. So just to be uh, to make sure, I just decided to use the sticker that was given. So the head, uh, once again, for its size, I think they did a pretty good job molding it as well. Even the back section has details, although no stickers for these kind of details as well. So the head can go up, down, and then side to side is possible. 360 is possible, although it is it is going to get in the way with these small antennas. So do be sure. Uh, to make sure that you are you know where you're moving now the shoulders can go up and down like that so there is a up and down movement on the shoulder itself and then uh 360 twist is possible oops and there i there we go and there i've uh dropped a shoulder piece so the way how the shoulder piece works is that you have these pegs here and then you have you can see there is a line where the pegs can go through you're supposed to connect them like something like this and then go in and there you go, there, they should be connected as well. So 360 is possible. Going to the side is technically possible as well. And as you can see, instead of a ar the arms can bend, but that's only thanks to the fact that they have a ball joint here. So that's what it makes, it uh, allows it to bend here. Compared to the ensemble uh, figures, these were a little bit more easier to apply and build because the ensemble of joints are just way too tight to plug in in, in general. And then I believe the hands are also, uh, are also a ball jointed hands so once again pretty well done and because it's on a ball joint 360 twist on the arm itself is also possible as well now the body uh the body can actually ro move side to side now i tried to go 360 but once again it's mostly um you can kind of force it but for now it's just a backpack that's co colliding but you can work your way around by going like this and moving 360 although uh, in this case not ideal so but still it works and then going side to side is also possible. No ab crunch as well. And once again, uh, so here we have the side skirts here. Now they're actually connected to the back skirt. So just keep that in mind. So they did a pretty good job on the detail and molding here. Uh, so if you want to like detail up, there is a lot of stuff you can color. And I assume uh, the Astra likes to put its weapons onto the side. So maybe you can slap these onto the side as well, and which is possible. All right, now looking at the front skirt. Now the front skirt uh, actually comes in a single piece, but it also it still has the uh, the the ball joint connection where you can uh, you can divide them in the middle if you want to do so. So going front is no problem, 
and let's see going the legs going frontwards not so much because of the front skirt back also not so much because of the back skirt as well going to the side is pretty much possible and then thanks to the middle ball joint you can have a, a decent bend but not by a lot but still the bend exists and believe it or not these legs are actually composed by a few multiple pieces so one two three so the leg itself is by composed by three pieces and the foot is also composed by two pieces so they didn't just simple everything out as well and the ball and the feet is ball joint connections uh, so you can go side to side and you do get a decent pivot joint for what this is so yeah pretty decent for its small size figure all right and then now we can slap on the weapons which is pretty much you know basic you just plug it into the hand and you're good to go for the rifle and then for the shield you actually have these holes on the lower on the bottom of the arm so just plug them in and you are good to go although if you can find the holes properly there we go now the connectors may seem a little bit too long or big because you are seeing a gap between the arm and the shield but still better than nothing all right so yeah and once again posing you can do some basic pose for what this figure can do Although make sure the, the legs, if you put pressure onto the figure itself to the ground too much that you can see the legs try to split so make sure you, you know, make sure you have it on the right position. Alright, so that is pretty much it for Gundam Astray Type F, the, the mobile suit itself. So for now, what I think we can do now is to open the second box and see what it has. So I'm going to open the box right away and see, let's see what we got. So uh, I believe this is also like pretty much the same as the Avalanche Exia as equipment but in red so once again we have all these parts for the Avalanche Exia and then we have the swords which is I believe uh, black and gray and this one actually has some stickers on it so once again I'll be right back with some pieces and let's see what we got okay I'm back so here we have all the Avalanche parts uh, attached to the Astraea Type F so uh, here's basically what happens. So you're gonna have to take this apart a little bit. So and here's what's uh, you take off. So obviously you, you do need to take off the shield and the, and the re, uh, rifle. But once again, you can still use these if you want to do so. Uh, mostly the rifle, the shield, yeah, not so much because uh, some part the plug holes are now being covered up with something else. Uh, so yeah, and then you need to you actually pretty much take off the entire arm and then you basically make new arms for this thing. Although you do need to take off the hands, so that obviously you're recycling the hands. Obviously, you're making, you're slapping on a new back skirt, and then you apply the side skirts onto that uh, part. So you you take it off, you detach the side skirt that was right here, and now replaced uh, onto the new back skirt as well. And then for the armor parts, you do need to take off the knee armor parts. So these are taken off. And anything new is attached to this part. And then weapon-wise, you do get the new. Uh, this is the additional blade here so once again it's all gray a little bit chunky and then oddly enough this side is empty they, ha they have this hollow side which they actually tell you to slap on a sticker to cover it up but I just wanted to show this aspect which is why I didn't apply the sticker here so yeah uh, a little bit odd to, to them to do this but oh well and then let's see what's let's see what's difference now so articulation wise i would say it gets a maybe a little bit limited because there are a lot more parts but the overall principle is the same although the legs now you can't really bend them because the, the they have attached these binders onto the back of the leg here the arms are practically new but you still you still do get the basic bend here because it's it's the same articulation principle um now oddly enough so they tell you to apply these yellow stickers here and there so i decided to use a gundam gold a gold gundam marker here to uh to color them here so these on the shoulders onto the side this part here on on the lower section and then even on the uh arm binders here which suppose which originally had the shield plug holes there as well so once again articulation is pretty much the same although a little bit more chunkier so moving around might be tricky but they did consider articulation so because they actually let you open this section up so they do open so now you do have a little bit more room and space to move the arm if you want to do so so that's kind of good in good consideration as well now uh with the blade you can still use it when it's a straight type f but once again uh you can use it while having this armor piece on although because of the lower arm here th this part here it the plug does not go all the way in so keep that in mind although on the other hand the rifle will have no issues holding it because obviously it goes on top so you can still hold it if you want to do so that's that oops I almost, I almost dropped it and finally for those who are more familiar to the avalanche 
uh, parts as well. You might be wondering, hey, can can we uh, apply the binders onto the lower feet? Yes, I believe I haven't tried the HG or Master Grade, but as far as I understood those, those are supposed to like slide down like skis. In this case, you have you can take these parts off and then slap it onto the lower foot here, like this. So, whoops, yeah, uh, that was the knee armor popping out. So let me just take this part off. So you can see there's two pegs and then two holes there. All you need to do is just plug them in and you got those binders onto the feet. And they are actually pretty firm connections. So now if you want to have it floating around, you can do that. Now, obviously you can make it stand on its, on its own, but it's gonna be a little bit wobbly like that. So luckily this, these things actually do have the holes for the action base, so you can actually plug them in. Although, uh, depending on which uh, adapter you use, yeah, your legs are gonna be always spread out like that. And anyways, that is pretty much it for the review. So before I end this off, here is the original sticker. So obviously instead of gold, you have to use these yellow stickers for those parts I, I just mentioned. And then there's these these two red strips. They're supposed to go on here on the shoulders. But once again, I feel like that's going to mess get messy because there are just so many parts colliding each other that sticker is going to get ruined uh, very quickly. So which is why I did not use that. Anyway, that is pretty much it. So once again, I do actually enjoy uh, these gun mobility, mobility gun joint figures. So I might actually try to get more, especially among this set. I, I'm, I'm actually interested in the Jinx, to be honest, because obviously XC is going to be pretty much uh, the same format or similar format as the Astray Type F. Uh, double, I just feel like some, there's going to be a lot of messy stuff going on. But if I do get both, I might need to eventually get this too as well. But anyway, uh, you get my point. So anyway, if you're interested or if you're looking for like not SD style, but if you want to some, some, find some sort of a small candy toy figure that has articulation, but you don't want to try ensemble, I think this is also a, a very good alternative option if you ask me. So anyway, thank you for watching the review. This was the Mobility Joint Gundam Astray Type F and it's Avalanche type equipment. Keep in mind, you need to buy two boxes to get to this form. So. Uh, please do not be confused. Anyway, if you guys got any questions or requests, leave a comment below. I still have more stuff to buy and build and make reviews on, so please stay tuned. Till then, see you guys next time.